Hey, orange one here. So, uh, yeah, we're kind of in a different place. Um, you know, I wanted to show you guys a war with the Kuzate that we got into, but it was over before it really got started. Like, I headed over here, I fought a couple of them, but they were pretty small skirmishes. Uh, we didn't get into any big major battles. Um, they did take this castle, and then we took it back. Then they took, uh, by Kaon. Uh, we took it, then they took it back. It was, like, back and forth a couple times, but I was never in any of the major battles. And so I just, I was, like, constantly trying to... <laughs> Uh, have you guys join up with me for like a major battle? It was like, eh, whatever, I'll just skip over some of this. Whoa, Regea has got 200. Oh, I also saw Regia, Regia with like a stack of like 1,400 or something like that. It was crazy. It was like absolutely nuts. Um, There are a couple armies apparently still around. Oh, and our wife, I believe, gave birth to a second... Um, if I go to characters, if I go to you, yeah, we got a second, um, second kid, which I thought we renamed you, which I'm, I'm not getting, unfortunately, it's, it's not keeping the name. I did, I thought I did that, like, right? And then, okay, like the brother is showing up there, but. It didn't show up in the other one. Okay, well, Blake's gonna be our second kid. Um, yeah, we've been... Basically, my plan for this episode is to do some trading and make some money. Also, we need to get our tier... Oh, oh because we got tier 4. Yeah, we also got tier 4 from just killing all the small little clans. Um, we got a bigger um, party size. We can have 190 people ourselves. That's crazy. Like, it's just totally nuts. Um, and then 80, 80, 80. We can have about 400-something units um, that we're contributing towards any war effort. In any case, we're not going to do that. <clears throat> we're just going to look at the goods here. And buy low, sell high kind of thing. Uh, the salt there is a pretty decent price. Yeah, I'm going to do a fair amount of this throughout this episode. Is just kind of buying and selling stuff and trying to turn a little profit from that as well. Um, this place does not seem to have that great of deal on things. We will pick up the hardwood though. The hardwood apparently it's saying is pretty decent deal. Same with the clay. It's saying that we can turn a profit from that. I don't think we're going to be able to turn much of a profit though. I think we probably want to get away from here as well, because this has just been, like, ravaged by war. Like, constantly. You know what we could do? What we should do is we should try and make a loop through here, down through the Middle East. Um, not Middle East. It, the, the fake Middle East, whatever you call this um, place. And we'll do a little bit of fighting. And because we got our wife with us, I'm not rushing over to the castle. Um, to go get her pregnant or anything. And I'm... I haven't got our companions with us. I'm just kind of letting them get recruits. Um, and I'm holding on to these prisoners in the off chance that they'll join up with me. It seems that it actually... Um, if they're a low tier troop, they're actually pretty likely to join up with you. So you can totally farm them like that. Um, I kind of want to make you happy, but not, not really. There's also, yeah, all these places are completely depleted troop-wise, and they're going to be for, like, a long, long time. Uh, the dates, apparently we can make money off of selling those, but I don't think... Yeah, let's see, the salt is already making a small profit. Not a lot, but it's making a little profit. Not hardwood. That immediately is making a good amount for us. Um, pottery, I think we... I can't remember what we bought that for. Let's have a look at... Um, and it's saying that the dates are... We can make a lot of money off of that. But it's that's not a great price for dates, to complete, be completely honest. Um, actually, hold on. I forgot to check one last thing. What's the price on cows and sheep? 
here it's saying don't buy the cows. So probably if we sell them, we're probably making some money, right? Same with the hogs. I don't know. To be completely honest, I don't know how much we bought those for. And it doesn't, the game doesn't know how much we bought them for either. So it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying this game. But it's also kind of like super um, frustrating when you get like some stuff where you're like, man, why won't, why am I, um, like for example, when I was getting like pinned by that one dude that like kept on trying to talk to me after I talked to him, I'm sure that they'll get it all sorted out. Oh, look, there's one of our people, Olin, right there. Uh, before we head out, let's just have a look at these dates. Um, and that's an okay price for dates. I think I'll pick those up. See, the other one was like 50 though. 34, I'll, I'll gladly pick that up though. And that is something that I should also be doing is checking in with these villages because they're going to have a good source of, um, of goods for us as well. Like that fish, that price for fish is, eh, it's okay. Not that great. I think that we can get fish for cheaper though, so I'm not going to buy that at 17. That's just a little bit too much. Uh, the dates I will check out because I got a feeling that, um, yeah, that's like I said, like that's a pretty good price for dates. So we'll load up on dates. Now, we're probably not going to be able to sell those until we get like out of this area, but when we do, we should make a good amount of cash. My hope and dream right now is to get our trade experience up nice and high, like, and see what we can do with that. Uh, we'll sell that clay. Yeah, we're not getting a whole lot of profit right now, unfortunately. Um, yeah, these dates and this fish, that seems to be the thing that's for sale around here. Okay, tell you what, we will buy some fish. Because, uh, maybe not that expensive. We'll buy, like, to there. And the dates, same deal. We'll, we'll take that. Man, wherever we end up selling the dates and the salt and all that stuff, we're going to make some good money. I feel like we've invested a lot in it, though, at this point. Okay. Um. There's salt. That's part of one of the things I just picked up. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, see that salt is not even that good of a price, actually. Oh my god, did, were they... Were they seriously gonna pay me 300 for a cow? Sweet. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Sure, I don't care. That's just... I think that's a pretty dang good deal for them. We also might want to see about getting another caravan set up in here. Um, that is something that I've been considering. Oh, apparently caravans don't give you any experience as well if you're curious about um, what's going on with that. Uh, did I buy grain? It looks like we might have bought grain. I can't remember. Yeah, we're getting some trade experience, it's just not enough to level us up, because all these places seem to have everything that we, uh, we've we just been buying. I guess there's too much trade going on here or something. Yeah, we've got a number of Qs8 units that I've gotten through this by recruiting the prisoners here. It's a pretty nice way of actually um, getting your army up and going. Hub yard. Let's see. What do you have? A, a good price. The olives are actually. Uh, it's not that good. The flax. I'll pick up the flax though. I honestly could take the flax back to where we just were, and we'd make plenty of money. And we'd be fine. I'm going to. Yeah, let's go here because that should. We should be able to sell the fish for quite a bit there, right? just curious as to also the flax I think I might pick up more if I can I mean it's such a good thing because it like doubles in the amount of money that you're getting it is a bulk item though so you do have to buy a whole lot of it if you're gonna make any real profit I think we will make some profit in this episode it's just um my luck's been 
kind of not with us for the trade right now. Maybe I just haven't been smart with how I'm I'm buying and selling things also. That's possible. Uh no, look at that. The dates uh did we the dates we bought for like 30. The flax is crazy expensive here. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is um very nice profit just off of that. Uh the dates wow, they they drop in price pretty quick there. Uh we'll do that. They must have had someone just come through here and buy it all or something. Um, we'll do like so. Hey, look, we got two uh, points in trade there. See, that's what I was talking about is that we were just on the cusp and so we must have just got enough to go over as well. Cool. All right. So we are making some profit. I mean, the real reason that I'm doing this, you're probably wondering why at this point I'm doing this because I'm making like tons of money off the war. Uh, the reason that I'm going down the trade path is I want some of these perks. I want to get some renown every day. That is like an insanely good perk. Like that alone. Oh man. I want it. I want it so much. Um, Anything else that I could buy here at a good price? And the meat? We could buy some of that meat. Sure. Uh, The beer. I'll buy the beer as well. Anything else that's being produced here cheaply? Not really. Yeah, I think that we'll we'll go with that for now. Actually, hold on. Is was the grain here a good price? I thought the grain was like, eh, it's not that good of a price. I think, I think we actually do want to pick up the grain though because it. it is I think kind of expensive in the desert so we'll pick up just a little bit of grain mostly so that if I can sell it I that I get some profit let's go to Kasari though I'm like not even recruiting units I just realized that I'm just like jumping around between the cities I should be trying to get units from these places um I could also try and get relationships built up with the uh, some of these guys yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do this quest really quick. We'll make the merchants nice and happy. We've got the money to do this one. This quest, like, I don't see why... Um... Oh, he wants 16 units of leather. I see, okay. I bet that doesn't give you trade experience, does it? I'll have to keep that in mind while I'm out. I bet I forget. I just know I'm going to forget. Look at that meat. See, I told you that was going to sell for quite a bit there. Oh, look at these dates. Look at how much they sell for. That's a good a good amount of profit there. That's same with that beer. Nice. And that salt, I think we got for like 30-ish. Yeah. And look at this. Look at that. And look, our trade skill's already gone up by another level. And it's kind of slow, to be completely honest. It is kind of a, a very gradual thing that we're we're getting there. See, the fish here is a pretty good price. Um, what else could we do? I think I... Do I want the fish? I, th I think if we're going to Sonala, because that's where I think I'm going to go, they've got, like, fish villages. Let's just take a second and actually look at what we could sell at Sonala. I wish there was a thing to be like, hey, I'm going to Sonala. What deals are there? That'd be super cool. Um, the so, Sonala, yeah, I mean, we could pick up the grapes here, and they're kind of expensive, but I think that we can work with that. Um, so, Sonala, <clears throat> I feel like we just, I don't know, I'm not liking the prices that we're seeing there. Let's just go to Sonala. Maybe on the way, we can stop off at a place that sells, uh, like, grain. Or do you guys actually already produce or get grain? You got fish. Uh, where's Nahalan? Nahalan's right there. That's grain. Actually, you're going to be producing grain. Maybe I should pick up grain here, then. And no, but grain's super expensive down here. 
if we're gonna pick up anything, we should just uh oh, our wife is with child. Nice. I was just also wanting to check out these these recruits here. Let's just load up on the fish. Let's do it. We'll sell it all somewhere. I have no idea where. And also, I'm just kind of curious as to, now that I've sold all that to you, is there anything that you'd be willing to buy at a good price? No. Okay. That is a shame. But it is what it is. Let's see, what can we buy here? Oh, look at that grain. That's a pretty good price for grain here, actually. I mean, it's like, they don't have very much of it, but pretty dang good price. And same with the dates. I think I will... By those dates at 39. Um, is there anything that I can sell here now though? Yeah, see like this pottery is, is worth a lot. And that salt, I actually can get all of my money back now. Uh, so, um, nope. That is about as far as they can go. There we go. Cool. Um, I don't know if that actually counts towards our profit. I think it does, right? You would think it would. Oh, all these prisoners are actually some pretty good recruits here. I need to be double checking on the recruits. I, I keep on forgetting to do that. And really what I want to do is build up relations up around where we've got our, um, our castle over there. But to do that, it's going to take some time. The grain, I don't think we want to be selling or buying here. What did I buy the salt for? I can't even remember what I bought the salt for. Sure, we'll do that. I I don't know if the villages is giving me trading experience. I think it does. But it's not like... I mean, we made a decent amount of cash there. But maybe it wasn't enough. Let's see this salt. Let's try and unload a good amount of it. Oh, we can unload all of it. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Got another trade level. It is slow going. I thought it would we'd be making more. Um, we could get that grain at that price. That is a decent price for grain. Anything else? Yeah, it seems to me that like the sorry, right now everything's just super expensive. Um, I could sell that other places for a good amount of money from here. Why don't we go ahead and buy some, some grain at 12. I don't want to overinvest because I feel like that's... Yeah, we also wanted to get all that fish and sell that fish somewhere, right? I think we got a ton of uh, fish here. Yeah, nope, that's not going to work. Okay, let's just, uh, let's make our way up to Koyaz. I think Koyaz, um, did I actually ask our, that place probably we can sell fish at, right? I just want to double check that, I don't know if I've been here in a long time. Grain, grain, yeah, so they're gonna have grain there. But they most definitely do not have fish. So we'll just make sure we got a good amount of fish and then we'll go check that out. Uh, the fish is expensive here, though. We'll buy a little bit of it. Just because I've got a good feeling it's got to be a lot more valuable over here. I'm going out on a limb, though, a little bit. And I also feel like I should be getting my party a little bit bigger, but at the same time that slows us down a little bit, so I'm not really sure how I feel about that. And I think this place, it should be able to produce a lot of grain because it had a couple villages there that had grain in it. Actually, you know what I wanted to do? Oh, man. Where are you going? Yeah. I wanted to see if I could just give this guy some money. Um, How much money do you have? Actually, no, you've got more than I do. Okay. Yeah, I want to find some of the lords in the Sari Kingdom and make friends just by giving them like 10k a pop, you know? And just rolling around like that and i completely forgot to do that in this episode so i might do that in between episodes uh fencing stolen goods i think that this makes has a result where you can um be friendly with the uh artisans 
Yep, I'll uh, I'll take your stolen goods and this dude, I'll just give them to him. And then everybody will be my friend. Yep. Thank you. We're going legit, we're going um, straight, as they say. Um, yeah, look at these dates. Uh, dates is, that's a pretty good profit. The fish, though, is not selling. That's really annoying that the fish doesn't sell here at a good price. And they're like in the middle of a desert, like up a river. I and mean, they are up a river, but still. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of our prisoners recruited. I have been thinking maybe we could just get like the, you know how we do, going and getting recruits in the bar. Just picking up some lads in the bar. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I had a feeling that you'd be someone that I could recruit. It was just something kind of weird with the the line of sight. Um, if I want to buy things here, what's what's good? Grain. Uh, grapes is not that good. I think it's really just the grain here. Yeah, if we just load up on grain... Maybe we don't want to load up on this grain, though, because it's not even that good of a price for grain. It's, like, good price for grain considering this area, but we already have tons of grain, you know? Um, we'll go up this way and we'll see what we can find. Maybe we'll we'll check out these villages, um, see what recruits they got. Yeah, I just, I've been having a hard time finding the uh, special units. And where to get them. Like these dudes. Or not those dudes. Sure, I'll take a Mameluke soldier. Actually, you know what? We'll take all of you. If I need to, I'll get rid of some troops. Um, and I think I might just buy all the desert horses that you have. I don't know. That might have been a dumb move, but... We might be able to sell those horses somewhere. I think what we really need to do is be smart and like just upload on... Um, wait, hold on, what? I just like switched direction. Are we at war with someone? Oh, we're at war with Vlandia. Is that so? Okay. Well, we got a war. That's nice. Kind of. Uh, the grain here sells for a good amount. Okay, cool. So can I... Let's see how much money I can get from you all. We'll do like that. And now we just need to get up there because they're going to start attacking my, uh, my settlement if I don't get in there soon. And then I'm not sure who to trade with or how the trade... Uh, is gonna end with this because we've got all this uh, all these goods here. Look at that that grain. Oh yes, that's what I'm looking for. But that's not even that much money actually. Hmm. Okay, well uh, let's load up on troops. <laughs> um, because we're gonna need it in this fight that's coming. And we probably actually with the Vlandians we might be able to push and take some land from them. Given my uh, my current army uh, size, I think if we let's uh, let's say, hey, I want my army, and I can tell you guys to come to me, and then oh, you're actually oh, they're they're not too far away either. Cool. All right. Um. Yeah, we'll go ahead and and get the recruits here and there and there. And then we'll head up. I was thinking that we could get the recruits that are, um... yeah, it seems to me that, that in this game that everyone gets like recruits and then gets bogged down by them. Like, and then you've got these huge armies of mostly recruits, you know? Um, the nab. And then I feel like we should just get up there and go and get into the war. 
have a look at just the prices though really quick. Anything I can sell? Nope. Anything I, I would... I mean, that flax is a pretty good price for flax, but we already have flax that we're trying to get rid of. Let's go ahead and get these recruits and then get up there. Oh, R Regia? Oh, she got taken prisoner. Huh. wonder what happened there. Yeah, I would go find your daughter, but I think that we need to go fight Vlandians. I, that was a total lie. I wouldn't actually go find his daughter. Um, I think with an army of 143... We, we're not going to be able to take a castle, but we could very easily, once we have some companions with us... Oh, look, there's there's our castle. We should probably... Yeah, you know what? Land grants for veterans. That seems like that's a good thing to support. And then these guys will actually like me a whole lot if I do that. They'll give me an added uh, relationship with those, those people. You know, I, I didn't even read how that affected the game. <laughs> I just, like, grabbed it. I was like, okay. Oh no, we failed. Well, Tamna, we're actually super far away anyways. I honestly only took that quest to get the units. Like, don't tell anyone. Um, Governor... Oh yeah, I've got this random uh, wanderer. Kind of... Yeah, let's, let's stick you as the governor. I don't actually know. We'll, we'll have none because I think he's going to be from the things that I, I saw. I think that I invested in him. Maybe I shouldn't have put that money in that, but let's get that loaded up and then we'll do that and something like that. And then prosperity. Maybe we should do militia, train militia. Yeah. We'll do train militia because uh, we're at war right now. Where's the armies right now? Oh, that place is probably already being taken. By the looks of it. Um, Yalmaris. Yalmaris. Yeah, so it looks like two armies are going to Yalmaris. So we should probably head over there ourselves and get involved in that. Because I got a feeling, yeah, they already took that castle. That did not take them long. Look at all these recruits. This is why you build relation. We just like straight up just rolled in there and recruited like 10 dudes and like a good chunk of them actually are good. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Mercenary swordsman. Yes, definitely. I'll hire you. I don't care how expensive you are. I've got the money. Uh, trade. Before we go off to war, let's see if we can level this up a little bit. Nope. Everything's pretty not good deals here. Unless we want to go back and sell it. I'm not going to though. I think we need to We need to be involved with this if we want to um keep Flandia down, because I mean maybe the Sari can take them. We've kept the Sari up and they've done a decent job of uh defending themselves against these dudes. How's my companion? Yes, you can you can join me. Sweet. I, w I would like that. We'll get recruits on the way. You're following Unquib? So Unquib must be behind me somewhere. Just strange because it seems to me that... Oh, you're over... What? Okay. Uh, I got really thrown off there for a second. Oh, you're going over there. Okay, so Unquib is going there. Where's this other dude? Un Unsack. Oh, so you guys are both going over there. Great, so I was going over here and you guys have decided not to go for that. Yeah, let's, let's go for this castle then. We'll get recruits while we're heading over. God, I've got such a big army. I'm honestly, I'm a little bit worried. Because we have so many trashy units, they're going to just be slowing me down. And I'm worried that like a, a faster army is going to catch me. And get me in a fight with like a big old troop, you know? Well, we've done a pretty good job of getting my personal uh, retinue. 
filled out. Wait, did we? No, we didn't make peace with them. Okay. For a minute I thought the war was over, but I think that the vote for the castle just went through or something. My... what? I... I guess uh, I've got some friends. Because they gave me a castle that's being taken now. Um, yeah, you can have that, dude. I'm not going to fight you on that, though. I might hang out and see what Unquib's doing with the troops over here. Um, yeah, he's gone up there somewhere. Kind of want to go over here to this castle and kind of check that out. So, Ayalis... So, is Ayalis over here right now? If I go over here, is he going to be outside this castle? Because if he is, then um, then we might try and be a part of this uh, siege. No. Yeah. It's uh, completely abandoned. Okay, well, let's go, go up here. I'm pretty sure that our lord is up there somewhere. And we do have, actually, we've got our 160, we've got 70, eh, like, 3, 400-ish. I don't think it's enough to uh, change the results of the siege, but maybe it is. I'm 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 curious if it, yeah, he's, he's crushing the troops in there. I'm curious if it's going to be worth it to follow his army, or, or not. I mean, I feel like we should go up here. I mean, I know that he's going to take that place. Uh, let's see, where am I at? I should probably be looking while we're traveling over there. Yeah, let's just kind of see how big of an army our ally has. Okay, they're not even over here. Never mind. Oh, no, they are. Cool. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Do I... do I dare go for it? Can I get near to my friend? I can. Oh, sweet. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I think that we can, uh... We can make this work. We can crush that 400 with our 800 stack. If, uh, you know... If they're within reinforcement range, that is. The game could be like super annoying and be like, oh, you're just by yourself. And it's like, no, I'm not. Are you kidding me? I mean, even with that added to us, we, we would have same numbers as them. Though they may have better troops than us. That is also something to keep in mind. We've got 150 recruits. I've got 100 recruits. Actually, I've got like 140. Yeah, no, we don't want to be charging in against him. Um... I'll probably get this figured out. I'll have you join up with us next time. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.